Hello, someone asked us the other day how to add certain elements uh, to the header and footer of an Excel workbook. So that's what we're going to show you today. Right now we've opened an, a blank uh, Excel workbook. We will write any old thing here. And we want to add a header and footer. And we're going to show you two ways to do it. The most common way is if we go to insert header and footer. And now I must say that this can change uh, in various in the different versions of Excel. Um, I am showing it to you. Uh, in an Excel 2016. So once we have added the header and footer, we will see a menu that says design under header and footer tools. And uh, we will see a section, a header section, and if we scroll down, a footer section. With each, uh, we're divided in three, a, a left and a middle and a right uh, subsection for the header and footer. Okay, We can write there as we would in any part of Excel, uh, but we want to add special items. And how do we do that? It, once we've opened the header and footer, we uh, have a des this design menu. If we click there, you will see that you've got certain elements. Page number, number of pages, current date, current time, file path, file name, sheet name and picture. Okay. So, for example, I could add here the file name. I could just write some uh, middle header here, section. And I could write here the time. I could add the, the insert the current time here. Okay. And then I can go back down uh, at the file path here. So I have to go to design the complete file path here and the just let's add the page number so you can see it. OK, so uh, as you can see, those are the sections that I've added there very easily. Uh, how can we uh, see it works? Well, we can go to file and print and we will see uh, how the page will come out uh in my when i print it out and obviously this has to change if i add new pages uh this should change the page number etc etc and header and footer should be uh, in all pages that's the advantage of having the uh, header and footer okay uh just as, as an afterthought i don't like to work i like to create my header and footer uh, create all this, add all the sections, but then I don't like to work with it. So if uh, once I've done it, if I prefer to work with the normal view, I have to go to view and click on normal instead of page layout. And then I go back to the old uh, lay layout without the header and footer. I can always go back by clicking again in page layout. OK, so this is uh, one way to add the header and footer. We will open a new blank workbook. So you can see another uh, way. So I'll insert, just write anything there. Um, so if we can go now to uh, the page layout and click on this small arrow where it says page setup and you will see header, the header and uh, footer tab. OK, uh, you can select where you want to uh, insert several options and you can or you can click on custom header or custom footer. And here we've got again the three sections and all the options to add the text and page number again it's another way to do the same thing we have exactly the same options uh, so for example what did we do here we uh, added the that there we added Heather here uh, we added the file name I think uh, here okay and when we added the footer we uh, this was a page number and here was the, the path. OK, so if we do this and now we go to view the page layout, you will see that I've got the, exactly the same thing. And it's another way of doing uh, inserting the header and footer. I personally prefer just going to uh, insert and the header and footer because I can see it visually and modify things easily. And then whenever I go on back, want to go back to normal Excel, just go to uh, the normal view and get back to work. Okay, I hope this uh, helps you. 